Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the chapter seven about the work and energy. In this problem, you can see as these pictures, they tell us this is a lever problem, right? You can see this is a fixed point, and there's a person try to just move this stone. And in this case, we should consider the two forces. The force act by the person on this lever, and then the balance, and then the force this lever act on the stone. You can see for these cases, it tells us we assume the work output equals the work input. What does that mean? It means that we find the output force, F0, this one, right? And also the input force, F1, this one. Wow. So it, we want to assume the work output equals the work input. That means the work did by this F1 equals the work by equals the work equals the work did by this F0. So these two works equals, and then we can see the distance it moved. So this is H1, this is H0, do you agree? So we, we assume this work equals this work, and then we use this way to prove this ratio. How can we do that? So first thing we look at is the work done by F1. So the work done by F1 is F1 times the distance it moved, right? At H1 and then cosine theta, theta is zero because it moves down. So cosine zero is one. So F1 is F1, H1. Then we look at the work done by the F0. F0, the force F0, the distance is covered F0. So cosine theta zero, cosine zero is one. So this is F0, H0. It, it tell us we assume this work equals so w1 equals w0. In this way, we can find the ratio for the force. See, it comes the ratio for the force, right? It comes from this one. We find the forces ratio is just a reverse of this uh, distance ratio h1 divided by h0. Now, how can we connect the h with the l? So we look at this uh, similar triangles. So for similar triangles, very obviously we have this equation, and then we input it inside, we get the final answer. Does that make sense to you? Thank you.